Hey, hi guys, welcome back. Almost one year already, or <laughs> more than one year already, right? So, uh, today I just want to, you know, give another update. You know, I think it's almost like 18 months I'm staying in my new apartment, right? So, I want you to, you know, bring you around to see what actually has worked for us, what has not worked for us, what has broken down, what are the things that you need to take, up, take note of when you do renovation, right? Because, you know, if you can get something sorted out at first before you actually move in, you can actually save a lot of maintenance costs and all these things, right? So today, I will just walk you through the house to, to show you, you know, some other wear and tear kind of things that have aged after 18 months that you all need to actually take note of. Yeah, so this will be a very helpful video. So let's go. All right, so this is the house from the, from the door, right? So all this thing has worked very well, right? The, the battery I haven't changed even after 18 months, right? All these things work perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so the house, right? As you know, right? This is my dry kitchen, right? And then those are the dining area and then the sofa, the TV area, right? So around this area, you can see uh, things are uh, largely operated normally, right? Uh, some of these lights actually, uh, one of them actually went out, right? But then, you know, with the warranty and all these things, they got it repaired for me for free, lah, right? So, um, generally, lights, everything's are okay. No no worries about this one. Uh, some notes on the carpentry, lah, right? So, from, from here, you can see this island itself, right? You can see these lines over here. Some, you'll see some uh, black dots here and there, right? So, these are the paint that has worn off. You can see somewhere here you have worn off already, so you have to actually cover it up. Right? So so uh the chairs are all okay, but then the chairs you may have some chips and then the paint may, may come out. Right? So you actually have to use a marker, right? Just use a permanent marker to patch them up. Right? If not, it's okay. Let me show you some over here. Yeah, you can see some of these white dots, right? So actually it's chip away. But then it's okay, you just paint it back up. Yeah, here you can see the black dots are more prominent, right? These are the uh, paint that has worn off. So you can use a so-called white paint marker to actually cover them up again. You can see over here, yeah? Very obvious. Right, so you have to clean this up. Okay, the other thing on the floor, right, I noticed while the, the towels and everything, no problem, right, but the grouts, as you can see, yeah, this one I clean already, right? As, it, as time went, went on, right, as you do your cleaning, right, uh, it actually darkens, right? So you can see, it actually darkens into something like this. So I actually use a sponge to actually clean on the uh, grout itself to make it back into this color. So it's not so obvious. La. So you can see some areas, like this one. See, it's a lot darker, right, compared to this one. This one I already cleaned. Yeah, so pockets of these uh, you know, areas where you can see the grout lines are dirty, right? You have to do some cleaning. I think the normal mopping is not good enough. But it's more obvious if you look at this area, see? Yeah, you see all the grout lines are like black compared to the ones that are grey, right? You, you totally, you almost nearly cannot see them. But here you can see. Yeah, so that is the uh, things that you need to take note of. Nah. Table-wise, okay. Table-wise, no issue, right? The tables works fine. Definitely the concertino Sensa stone, right? Stone table is definitely high grade, you can see. It's still shiny, there's no scratches, right? And they work perfectly well. So no complaints about this one. Uh, countertop, same, no issues as well. Uh, just that you need to keep on do all your cleaning and everything. Uh, wells all functioning properly. I have done a filter change, uh, probably close to a year. Right? So a year when I move in, right? Uh, we, I, we have to actually replace the the filter right so that is covered under uh the, the so-called regular maintenance so it's actually free okay generally everything works well right no issues with this one um the whole tv area uh nothing has broke nothing everything is work as fine yeah the only thing that we notice is that uh gray carpentry as you know lah, you actually collect dust right so all the, all this dust you have to actually clean up yeah, if not, you, 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 it's actually quite obvious. You can see over here, like, I think you can see some dust here and there. Okay? So usually I clean once a week. Right? Same goes for the fan. Fan also once a week, you need, you need to clean. Yeah? Windows-wise, uh, you have stains, right? Windows stains from the rain and all these things, right? 
So you need to actually uh, so-called use the glass cleaner, window cleaner to clean the glass every couple of months. Uh. So far, uh, generally it has worked very well. We super like the sofa. Just that uh, the sofa because it's white color, right? So you can see some dark, dark stains and here like that, right? Because every day you sit on it, right? Your skin or what, you know, rub against this one. So it turned a little bit uh, black. Yeah? But no worries. I think um, there are always... We have always planned that, you know, every 18 months or, or at least two years, right, we should change out the covers. I right? see, so this sofa is from King's Living, right? So you can actually go back to King's Living to say, you know, you want to so-called get another cover for, for your sofa. So we are planning to do that, lah. right? Uh, the dining chairs, I think the dining chairs, you can see dirt, lah. Right? Especially when you have kids, right, they touch here and touch there, right? So all these stains, right, you can actually clean up, lah. Yeah, but generally all works well. Yeah, I super like uh the the cutlery. Right, this is the Christopher cutlery, right? So works well. Dustbin from this one is the Berbencher one. Uh, works well. Is very uh well placed at home. Right, in the center of the whole house. You want to throw rubbish, everything is here, nicely done. Okay. Uh, move on to the kitchen. Kitchen wise, uh, generally no issue as well. Uh, just that you will see the grout lines also like the same problem because there are some liquid and all these things to wet this place. Right, so generally everything looks fine, everything works well. Uh, tap wise, water plumbing all works well as well. Yeah, so you will see some uh, still the same thing uh, some uh, this kind of like dots. The 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 paint actually came off, but no big issue with this one. Yeah, so generally I think kitchen I have no complaints. Okay. Uh the toilet? Toilet wise no issue as well. Yeah. So only thing is that the we the because this one when you when you use the tap right water stains tend to splash onto the mirror, right? So you have a lot of stains here and there. So you need to actually uh do cleaning as well. Okay, uh, the glass itself, right, uh, you have water stain, so you also need to also clean up, yeah. Hans Groher shower set, perfect today, right. No issues, no blockages, nothing, right. But you can see some of these uh, stains here and there, right. These are the so-called uh, the hard water stains. Uh. So this one takes some time to actually clean up. Uh. So it's not as serious, but then you, you, you need some kind of like uh, uh, effort to actually clean them up, okay. So like what I say, the brush comb itself don't uh, peel or they don't wear off, right? So right now, everything looks like pristine new. There's no chipping off and things like that. Compared to those that are being powder coated, right? Some of the uh, uh, fittings, right? They are actually uh, powder coated, right? This one, right? So this one you see is powder coated. What you can see is that you can see all these chips already, right? These are all the paint that have worn off, see? Uh, so all this, if you use a powder coated one, uh, wear and tear, it will become like this. So ultimately, I will replace this one with a hunch her one, same as same color as as this one lah. So you will not actually have this problem at all. Yeah. So for any high touch area, I think where you touch, where you rub, right, the the, the powder coating will actually came off. This one you see, if you don't touch him often, right, it doesn't actually peel off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, everything here look looks. Good works well. No problem with flush and and everything. Yeah, just that uh, take note that after prolonged long of use, right? The the, the soft closing actually worn off. Uh. so I think uh that you can actually do cleaning and some maintenance on the hinges and all these things to actually make the soft closing work. So right now there's no soft closing for this one today, but still okay lah. No no major issue for for the toilet. Okay, bedroom wise. Uh, the heater, all this thing works well. I I don't face any issue with heaters. Yeah. Uh, like like what you know, like, I have a lot of these glass panels. So glass panel needs cleaning and everything. So you can still see water stains here and there, right? If you never clean properly, then you have lines. So these are things that I need to go and follow up and clean. Yeah, but generally still okay, right? Sink wise, right? Uh, integrated sink, good idea to have. Uh, a bit, a little bit of maintenance here and there because uh, this is not exactly so called uh, water or sloping down. Right, so you see like uh, wet patches here and there. 
Okay, and those tend to so called collect some of the residue, la, some stains or things like that. You can see la, the stains and here like that, right? So this one you need to clean up. But generally, I think the sink actually works very well. This sink comes from the Cosentino uh, South Stone series, right? Integrated sink, one whole piece of uh, countertop material, right? So it's not joined together. You can see it's actually no joint one. Yeah, so it works very very well. Highly recommended if you want a very nice home like this one. Yeah. So same for the tap, right? You can see the stains over here. Okay, so you need to actually uh clean and you know uh use use paper or use cloth to wipe off the stains. Same thing the wind uh the, the mirrors get stains also because the water will splash on it. But generally no complaints at all. Okay. Uh, one thing to note about some of the grogs lying on your wet areas, like shower area, may peel off over time. So that one I think no choice. Uh. But either you patch them up or you live, live with it. Because right now I live with it, no issue at all. Yeah, while it peels off already, it doesn't affect anything. Yeah, so I think so generally still okay. Hmm? Shower area, everything works well, same. It's all hunched over, no peeling, nothing. Okay. Uh, moving on, this is the master bedroom. Okay, master bedroom, uh, all the wardrobe looks fine. Nothing has broken, nothing has worked. But the only thing is that uh, the hinges right may have uh, sound, right? Creaking sound. So you need to use the WDE40, the lubricant to actually lubricate the, 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 the sink again, uh, the, the, the hinges again. But generally still okay. Uh, here, side table, no problem at all. Uh, all the so-called switches all works well just that to note like, some, uh, because there's a lot of grooves here and there right you can actually collect quite a bit of dust like the dust can collect here collect here as well but even for a very nice big head like this uh, uh, you will see all these ledges over here right so all these are potential places where uh, dust can collect so usually I will actually uh, clean up once a while uh. you know every one or two weeks time I will actually do a wipe down Okay, windows wise, no, no issue. Uh, this is the so-called uh, diamond grills, right? So diamond grills, uh, you can see there's no, there is no coating one, right? So this is really raw metal. So no rust, no stains, nothing. It works perfectly fine. Right? So I really like that, you know, we actually get diamond grills. So it's still very, very hard. You can't actually uh, deform it or what right so my kids try to hang on this one no worries still still works very well yeah just that uh, when it's strong wind right like now it is very very breezy but right? they may vibrate so they may give you uh, the vibrating sound like this now you can hear something like this at times uh, when you have strong winds yeah because my place is very windy so even the pendant light is like <laughs> like, like moving yeah like swing here and there right TV wise, I will no no problem. I right? same thing here. Collect dust also lah. Huh? So no no worries with uh the bedding and everything. Right, everything looks well, clean up well. Yeah. So I think that's really about it, right? So I don't think I we I face major problems. Right, it's just some seasonal or you know usual expected wear and tear. But generally the whole. Uh, renovation the fittings are of good quality after one and a half years almost everything looks well everything looks fine so no complaints everything looks still okay to me okay if you have any questions feel free to you know um, put into the chat uh, put into the comment below i'm happy to answer them right so i will do another video if you have any more further questions you want to look into certain areas happy to do more videos on this one Okay, until next time, I will see you soon.